Well, hey guys, get excited because in this video, we're gonna be answering the question, is Equate Beauty any good? Over the years, I have recommended a lot of Equate Beauty products and I've gotten a lot of requests to please compare them side by side to their original. So if you're not familiar, Equate is a Walmart brand and it is the generic equivalent of many popular skincare brands. So in this video, I'm gonna be comparing the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream to Equate Beauty's Gentle Skin Cream. We're gonna be doing a side-by-side -side with textures, performance, ingredients, and I'm also going to compare and contrast the popular CeraVe Moisturizing Cream with Equate Beauty's Moisturizing Cream. But before we get into comparing and contrasting, make sure you are subscribed, hit the bell notification, it lets you know when my videos go live, and give this video a thumbs up if you like cream. Let me know in the comments, do you prefer CeraVe or Cetaphil? Which team are you on? I know it is kind of a house divided out there. All right, let's just go in with CeraVe versus Equate Moisturizing Cream. What is on everybody's mind and the reason why you may even be considering these Equate dupes in the first place is gonna be price. Generics are always less expensive. So how do these compare price point? The Equate Moisturizing Cream is $9.98 for the 16 ounce tub, which is roughly 62 cents per ounce. Whereas good old CeraVe, which I love and adore, is $14.97 working out to about 93 cents per ounce. So that is, that's a pretty big uptick, almost close to $5 more expensive for this tub of CeraVe in comparison to the Equate Beauty. In terms of ingredients, they're pretty much the same. But what about the technologies that these use? Now, what CeraVe is most well known for is the inclusion of three essential ceramides into their products. Ceramides, if you're not familiar, are an essential part of your skin barrier. They're kind of like the glue, the mortar between the bricks of your skin. And in certain dry skin conditions like eczema or with age, our skin just kind of becomes a little less adept at making ceramides that leads to more dryness. Applying ceramides to the skin can help clue your skin into making its own and help with barrier recovery, addressing the needs of dryness, irritation, etc. What is unique about CeraVe is that they use this MVE technology, which basically um, allows for kind of a layered and slow release deposition of the ceramides onto the skin, allowing for a more slow release and sustained hydration and barrier repairing effect. I'm not so sure that the Equate Beauty Moisturizing Cream utilizes that technology. I imagine it is trademark secret to CeraVe, and I honestly don't know how a generic could actually reproduce that. So they may have the three essential ceramides, the same ingredients, but you may find long-term the performance of the Equate cream is not as good as CeraVe because maybe it just doesn't allow for that slow release. CeraVe moisturizing cream has also been shown to increase the water content of the skin just after three days of using it. Um, now, I don't know that the Equate Beauty cream that we have any studies on it showing such a thing, but I imagine you likely will get similar results in that regard. When the water content of the skin is improved, it exfoliates more uh, normally, you're less prone to dryness, irritation, the health of the barrier is just much better. And I think both of these likely help water content, but we do actually have studies showing that CeraVe, after three days of use, does increase the water content of the skin. What about consistency between these two? Are they the same? In my experience, they are very much the same. I can't tell the difference. They look identical, they feel identical, and importantly, they spread onto the skin exactly the same. One is not clumpy or streaky. They both are very quick, to spread on the skin and they don't feel greasy or cakey. I do not notice a single difference between the Equate Beauty Moisturizing Cream and the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I just point out that the technology in the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream in terms of the delivery of the ingredients may be more sophisticated than what you're getting in the Equate Beauty version and therefore, long term, you may find that the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream, in contrast to the Equate version, 
provides more long-lasting hydration, which can be especially important if you have an underlying dry skin condition like eczema. But if you don't, and you just like CeraVe cream, but you wanna save money, go with the Equate. Like, it's a lot less expensive. We're talking close to $5. You can get these at Walmart, and $5, you could stop at Subway, <laughs> sandwich, you get a foot long sandwich. Um, and in these times, you know, money is, is tight. So yeah, save yourself the money. I don't really think that you're gonna notice any difference whatsoever. Uh, one thing that keeps people from using a product is if there is a strange odor. Now, both of these products are free of fragrance. I don't notice any difference in the smell or odor of either of them, but if you put your nose close to the jar, I do find that the Equate Beauty has a slightly more noticeable wax smell, which is very, I mean, I have a, as a side note, I have a very, very strong sense of smell. <laughs> So that might not be something that other people notice or care about, and it's certainly not something that transfers to the skin and leads to any odor or anything like that. But I'm just talking about if you actually sniff the two creams, there is a slightly more waxy odor to the Equate product in comparison to CeraVe. But the consistency, the feel, the spread, they are identical and the ingredients are, are overall very similar. The order of ingredients between the two is a little bit different, but I do not notice any difference in performance, consistency, or feel. So I think the slight tweaks in order maybe lend themselves to that ever so slightly waxier odor to the Equate product, but that I don't think is enough to really affect your compliance with the product. I mean, you don't notice that waxy odor putting it on your skin. These are marketed for people who have normal to dry skin. They do have petrolatum in them, which can feel greasy on the skin to some people with oilier skin types. But that being said, I don't find these greasy at all. Which brings me to my next point. I have often shared with you guys how wonderful CeraVe moisturizing cream is as a facial moisturizer. It's one of those that you can use on the face and the body. And likewise, the Equate Beauty products you can use on the face and the body as well. At the end of the day, I would seriously consider the Equate cream though. I think it, you know, like I said, blindfolded, I can't tell the difference. Feels the same, looks the same, performs the same. Some people may appreciate an ever so slightly less robust sustenance of hydration in the skin. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, I think it's definitely worth saving the five dollars if especially if you're on a budget i love CeraVe. i love buying their products they're great the cream has really helped me out personally i recommend it to patients with eczema but if you are strapped for cash do not don't sleep on the equate they did a really good job i think it was 2019 i went to san diego on that trip i purchased an equate version of one of the CeraVe facial cleansers and i found it was not as good as CeraVe. So I don't think all, all of the generics necessarily perform as well as their originals. But in the case of the moisturizing cream, for sure, that bad boy does perform well. Okay, moving on to Cetaphil moisturizing cream. This is another great product as a side note. It's one of my favorites from Cetaphil. It's very similar actually in consistency to the CeraVe cream, maybe a little bit uh, more emollient. So if you have oily skin, you may care for this less. There are no ceramides in Cetaphil's moisturizing cream. When I say it's more emollient, you'll notice this product has sunflower seed oil and sweet almond oil. There is more of an odor to the Cetaphil product in comparison to CeraVe moisturizing cream. Perhaps it's that little bit of sweet almond oil, but it's not enough of an almond odor. I've tried other products that use sweet almond oil and it's like reminiscent of that pink hand soap that used to be in like the public school bathroom. If you know, you know, it used to come in this like weird pump thing. Um, this doesn't smell like that, even though it does have sweet almond oil. So if you're worried about that, the Cetaphil cream does not have that odor. Anyways, this is a great one. Like the CeraVe product, it, it performs well on the face, although it does feel a bit oilier in comparison to straight up CeraVe. What about the Equate version, the Equate Gentle Skin Cream? How do these compare price point, first of all? 
Uh, it's, it's even more substantial than the CeraVe versus Equate. Um, Cetaphil moisturizing cream is going for $12.62, which is roughly 79 cents an ounce, whereas Equate is $6.47 for this tub. You guys, this is the best value of everything I'm talking about here. That's roughly 40 cents per ounce. This is the least expensive of everything we're talking about here. How does this compare in terms of ingredients though to the Cetaphil? It's actually quite different. And the reason for that is that if you're not aware, Cetaphil recently reformulated a lot of its classics, its cleansers and its moisturizers, including this. And the reformulation of the newer cream, now it concludes um, some B vitamins. It has niacinamide, which is helpful for redness, the moisture barrier, it's also helpful for acne and it's helpful for um, dry skin and anti-aging. And this also has panthenol, another B vitamin that's helpful for the moisture barrier. Whereas the Equate version has not caught up to the new reformulation, the Equate version is the same as the older, as the older uh, versions of Cetaphil. So I'm pointing that out because some of you guys find that niacinamide is irritating to your skin, it burns and stings. You may have been incredibly peeved that Cetaphil reformulated their moisturizing cream. And if that's the case, then definitely pick up the Equate product because not only is it less expensive, but it doesn't have those ingredients which you may not care for. When a brand reformulates a product, some people find that the new formula is like either the texture is not pleasing to them or sometimes they find that those little tweaks make the product more likely to cause burning and stinging and they are you know, let down. If that is you, then try out the Equate version because it's very much the same as the older formulation of Cetaphil's moisturizing cream. It doesn't include the tweaks that the newer Cetaphil cream does. But both of these feel exactly the same on the skin. They both are the same consistency. In terms of how these feel on the skin, they're the exact same. Neither are greasy in my experience, although if you have an oilier skin type, you may find they are a little bit too emollient for your liking. But for me, I found they went on really well. They're not sticky. They're not shiny. As far as consistency, if you look really, really carefully, you will notice that the Equate Beauty product is ever so slightly different in appearance in terms of consistency. It's got almost a bit more of a waxy look to it. And I don't know if that's because the, the Cetaphil, now that it's got niacinamide and panthenol, I don't know if that adds a little bit of extra smoothness to the overall consistency, but you will notice that there is a difference when you just Put the, put the dollops side by side, but feel they feel exactly the same. I can't tell a difference. Personally, they feel the same. And performance wise, they both remain unsticky. The following morning, skin feels the same on both sides. When comparing the two, I don't notice any difference. So at the end of the day, if you were strapped for cash, this is gonna be your go-to. It's a fantastic fragrance-free moisturizer, inexpensive, this is a Cetaphil dupe by Equate. It's their gentle skin cream. This is gonna be the best value of everything that I've shown you here. The end result of improving dryness, roughness, and skin texture is going to be the same with all of these. That, if that is your main goal, then go with this. It's the least expensive. It's gonna save you the most money, which is really you know something that is on everyone's mind. As far as odor, this smells exactly the same. They both smell the same. So there's no odor difference between the two. And both of them, again, are free of fragrance. Nothing lingers on the skin as far as an odor with either of them. All right, you guys, that is Equate Beauty versus CeraVe Cetaphil. Make sure you let me know in the comments, though, if you are team CeraVe or team Cetaphil. And let me know if you've tried out the Equate versions. I think they are an excellent alternative. They're very cost effective. They perform the same. So let me know if you've tried them out or if you plan to. Now on the end slate, I'm going to put my more recent video comparing CeraVe SA Lotion to Amlactin for rough and bumpy skin. So definitely check that one out if you missed it and you like these comparison videos. But if you guys like this one, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.